Hello, brothers and sisters. Father Joe back here in the sanctuary with you. And wanted to talk, it's that time of the year, wanted to talk about the last four things, right? And we get towards the end of the liturgical year. And especially now we're on the cusp of All Saints and All Souls Day, All Hallows Eve, also known as Halloween. And we start thinking about these things. In November, we really meditate on them quite a bit. And they're very important. So what are the last four things, you might ask? Well, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Those are the last four things. Now, we could kind of wedge purgatory in there a little bit, but technically those are the last four things. We're all going to die. It's an, it's an inevitable fact. And death is something that's kind of scary to us, but once we put it in the context of the death and resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, it's not so scary anymore. It's still painful. It still hurts. But it's a portal to new life with our Lord. And so after death, what happens? It's called the particular judgment. So we meet Jesus. And we have an a final opportunity to accept Him or not. And so then we determine our final destiny. It's not Him. He's not a big meanie. Um, we say yes. If we still have the stain of sin on our soul, then we go to purgatory for a time. But we're going to make it to heaven. We say no, then we're eternally separated from Him. In a nutshell, those are the last four things. And that's, you can see, where purgatory gets wedged in there. And I invite you to meditate upon these things. They're very important. And in many ways, our society wants to kind of push them aside, especially death. Well, we don't want to think about that. But as Catholics, we do, especially dying to ourselves, rising to new life with our Lord every single day. Then we don't have to worry about that. We still have to endure it just like Jesus did. But with him, we become saints through the process. We move into eternal life with him and eternal rejoicing with him. And that's what every single one of us wants. So I encourage you to meditate upon these things, especially as we head into the liturgical celebrations. All Saints Day celebrates all the saints. All Souls Day celebrates, it's, well, it's a mass that we celebrate on behalf of all of our faithful departed, especially the holy souls in purgatory. And then all throughout November, we pray for our beloved dead. So it's a good time to intercede for all those who are on the other side for us and help prepare our souls for the time, for when the time comes for us. So I hope you take good advantage of this time, put it to good use, and grow in holiness in the process. Thanks, and God bless.